Sorry, GB1. I forgot about the beginning of Up being a little bit depressing. Well, it's actually not all bad. You, you know, sometimes we have to experience the worst things in life to be able to fully experience the best things in life. And, uh, like this movie it has a talking dog and a balloon house that flies away to a tropical paradise powered by helium balloons. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, well, you know, GB1, that's actually a really good idea. Our friends over at DK Models sent us a really cool balloon house to make out of plastic bricks. And maybe we can build that to keep your spirits up while watching the movie. <whistles> Sounds like a plan. Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and this is my friend, GB1. In this episode, we're going to be building the DK Balloon House. And I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding these models, but at the end of the day, there's going to be people that are buying them and they're going to want to know if they're any good. And Groovers, that's what we do here on the show. We review cool stuff that we can build together. Now, let's get down to the workbench and take a look at this package. Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our DK Balloon House with 555 pieces. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have. We have bags, more bags, more bags, loud noises. Okay, so we have our base and we have a whole bunch of parts. Now these parts don't look like they're labeled in any way. I don't see any numbers or anything on the bag. Oh wait, there is a number here on this bag. And there's a number on this bag. Huh. Let's see. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any corresponding numbers though on the page. I do see here a one. Maybe. And it looks like it's like a bunch of white pieces. So here we go. One. Four. Six. Three. This one doesn't have a number, or at least I do not see one. If you see one on screen, just type it down below. Okay, well, we have all of our parts here. Let's go ahead and open up our first bag, get out our parts, and start building. All right, and there we go. We have all of our parts needed for that first page of building. Now, as we go about this, I'm going to show the directions on the screen there, but I might not be talking because, well, these builds are pretty straightforward. We're just gonna count the different studs here and of course put those bricks in place. Now the first couple of studs are always the most important. And one thing I'm realizing right now is that the bag that I opened actually didn't have necessarily all the parts that we need uh, to get started. So those bag numbers really don't mean much. So I need more parts. All right, now I think we have all of our parts here. Whew, I know someone with OCD is gonna lose their mind with that one. All right, and this one here, geez. Okay, I did my best to kind of separate all the colors here. I like to do that because it makes my life a lot easier to be able to find everything. If you don't want to do it this way, you don't have to. Now, getting back to what we were doing before, we're gonna count the studs here. That's one and two. And so this guy's gonna go right there. There we go. Our first stud of the build is now in place. That's awesome. And then we're gonna skip four and we're gonna go right here. Okay, so unfortunately we've gotten just a little bit further and I'm realizing I'm gonna have to get all these bags out So let's go ahead and cut to where I have all these bags undone and we can actually build this a little bit further That's a shame that these uh, numbers don't mean much Whoa, all right, and there we go We have all of our pieces organized and out of their bags Which means we shouldn't be stopping anymore for any time during our build now Let's get back to where we were and uh, put on our build.
and there we have it the balloon house from DK this build was pretty easy and straightforward especially for a plastic brick model but there were a few complications mostly to do with the instructions there were a few repeated steps like part 35 and well part 35 but there was also some models or sorry corrections some steps that actually had some bricks in there that were mislabeled and miscolored. Now, these aren't major hurdles. If you've ever built one of these kind of models before, you can easily get by it, but it definitely is a frustration. If you're not expecting it, I can definitely throw you off. Now, can I recommend this for other builders out there? I think so. If you really like these kind of plastic brick models and you like the price tag as well, I would say go ahead and pick this one up. There is one thing to know though, keeping this thing floating is kind of hard to do. You see the front little chains there are held in by friction points and if this thing moves too much they pop out really easily which sends that balloon top there down and while well, the whole house actually falls apart which is no bueno. Let me see if I can actually show you guys here how this thing floats freestanding here. Ooh, it's floating. Whoop. Ooh, see, don't want to do that for too long. All right, Groovers, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the DK Balloon House with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now, I'm going to go show us the GB1 and see if I can cheer him up a little bit. He should be at the island part by now.